what if I told you in just six weeks you could become section 508 trusted tester and be ready to make the digital world more inclusive. If you are looking to become a section 508 trusted tester, you are at the right place. My six week trusted tester plan will walk you through a structured step by step plan to help you master web accessibility, pass the certification exam and become a trusted expert. Let's get started. Here's something you might not know. Section 508 is a US federal law that ensures both government websites and digital services are accessible to everyone, including people with disabilities. But here's the shocking truth. Compliance isn't automatic. It needs a trusted tester to evaluate whether a website is truly accessible. This is your opportunity to explore the vast opportunities in the web accessibility field. But why does this matter? Because without someone qualified to test and ensure compliance, these digital spaces remain inaccessible to millions. And this is where you come in. If you are in technology, whether you are a developer, tester or a designer, becoming a certified trusted tester could revolutionize your career. Why? Because accessibility is the future. I know what you're thinking. Can I do this? Well, the good news is, yes, you can. Anyone with the right mindset and dedication can become a trusted tester. It's not about being a coding expert or an experienced developer. It's about your willingness to learn and passion to make a difference. But you will need some foundational skills. Having basic knowledge of HTML semantic tags is the must. Understanding of ARIA attributes and some knowledge of VCAG. I know it seems overwhelming, but don't worry. Check out my previous videos on VCAG guidelines and ARIA to learn how web accessibility is easier to understand and apply. Before we dive into the next section, I want to take a moment and appreciate some amazing viewers who took time to comment on my videos. Saranya, thank you for admiring my IPL website audit. Dave, your comment made my day the other day. And Akash, thank you for your comment. Want a shout out in my next video? Comment on this video. What is your biggest takeaway and have you ever considered taking a certification? Right, so how do you actually become a trusted tester? Here's the step by step breakdown. Enroll in the free self paced training offered by the Department of Homeland Security. That's right, it's absolutely free. Complete their online modules within 180 days that cover everything from the automated tools to the manual keyboard testing. Complete all courses the practice exams and the trusted tester for web certification exam to earn the certified tester credential. The training walks you through the real life accessibility barriers like missing all text, poor navigation and bad color contrast. If you master this, you will be ahead of the game. Now, let's talk about passing this exam. Most people fail because they underestimate it. This is not just a multiple choice quiz. It's a practical exam where you will be testing a real world web application. Questions change every time and you will be testing a real website and the best possible answer will be considered as the correct answer. You will need to identify the accessibility issues using the ICT testing techniques. You must follow the trusted tester conformance test process. I know that's mouthful, but I will be explaining it later in the video. And lastly, you must score 85%. Yes, 85% is the passing score. I know it's tough, but let me tell you, if you have practiced, you will crush it. And remember, you will only get three chances to pass the certification in a three day period. Now let's get into the tools. You might be wondering what tools do I need to become a top tier trusted tester? And here's the ultimate toolkit by DHS. Andy, 
a government approved accessibility testing tool, X Dev tool, and Wave to catch automated VCAC violations. Keyboard navigation because we have to test for personas using keyboard only. And lastly, screen readers like NVDA and VoiceOver to experience the website as the blind user do. DHS testing process aligns with the ICT testing baseline, ensuring compliance with the revised Section 508 standards, including VCAG 2.2 Level A and AA. Now it's time to look at the structured plan to help you become a trusted tester in just six weeks. Week 1 is understanding the foundations of accessibility. Learn what Section 508 is and why it matters. Understand digital accessibility and the impact on users with disabilities. Familiarize yourself with VCAG guidelines. Focus on VCAG 2.2 AA to start. Study basic HTML and ARIA because these are essential for accessibility testing. Action step. Read the official documentation on the Section 508 website. Watch my videos on VCAG and ARIA to learn more. Week 2 is exploring the Trusted Tester program. Understand the role of a trusted tester and how it differs from other accessibility roles. Get familiar with the Trusted Tester conformance test process. Continue watching. I will be explaining it in detail after covering the six week plan. Explore accessibility testing methodologies, both automated and manual, along with the assistive technologies. Start using accessibility tools like Andy, Axe, and Wave. Wave is my least favorite. Action step Enroll yourself in the DHS Trusted Tester Training Exam and explore the TTCP guideline. In full honesty, I found their website quite overwhelming. So please be patient with it. In week three, focus on hands-on accessibility testing practice. Master automated testing. Learn how to use Andy and XDev tools to detect common accessibility issues. Understand the limits of automation and when manual testing is required. Start practicing keyboard navigation testing, a key skill for trusted testers. Familiarize yourself with screen readers like NVDA and VoiceOver. Action step. Run automated accessibility scans using tools like Andy and DevTools. Document your findings and practice navigating websites using keyboard and a screen reader. Week 4 is all about deep diving into manual testing and TTCP execution. Follow the full TTCP process step by step. Conduct manual keyboard testing to evaluate focus order and interactive elements. Perform screen reader testing and learn how user interacts with different elements. Lastly, inspect website code for correct ARIA implementation and semantic HTML. Action step, choose a government website, perform the TTCP audit, and document your findings. Week 5 is all about preparation and mock testing. Review the trusted tester training material again and go through all the quizzes. Take practice tests and apply what you have learned in real scenarios. Review accessibility failures and learn how to communicate findings effectively. Action step. Simulate an exam environment and perform a full TTCP audit on a sample website. Week 6 is all about taking the trusted tester exam. Schedule your trusted tester exam and ensure you meet all requirements. Review common mistakes and pitfalls before taking the test. Take the exam with confidence because I know you have practiced for it. Action step. Take the exam, update your resume, and comment on this video how well you did. Okay, you might have heard about TTCP or Trusted Tester Conformant Test Process multiple times in this video. 
let's cover that in detail it is the structured method used to evaluate web accessibility ensuring compliance with section 508 and vcag it combines both automated and manual testing techniques to ensure websites are accessible to users with disabilities key elements of ttcpr automated testing tools like andy ax and wave are used to detect common accessibility issues such as missing alt text or contrast issues secondly we have to perform manual testing it includes keyboard navigation and testing with screen readers using nvda or voiceover and code reviews for aria and html structure and at third we have documentation after testing a report is generated highlighting issues and providing recommendations for improvements so what are the steps in ttcp it starts with initial review understand the website's content and functionality then perform the automated testing using tools to flag basic issues then you perform the manual testing check keyboard and screen reader accessibility perform code reviews inspect html and aria implementation and number five create the accessibility report document your findings and suggest fixes talking about tools we start with andy ax and wave for the automated checks we use nvda and voiceover for screen reader testing we use keyboard navigation for manual checks now you might be wondering what are the benefits of having ttcp approach it standardizes the process for accessibility testing it ensures compliance with section 508 and vcag standards and lastly it is recognized across industries for comprehensive accessibility testing by following the ttcp you as a tester can ensure websites are accessible to all users contributing to our more inclusive digital environment once you pass the certification you will get the trusted tester certificate but what it means for your career you can explore opportunities in the federal jobs like government agencies need accessibility testers private sector demand companies are investing in digital accessibility more than ever freelance opportunities many businesses needs audit for compliance if you want a career in accessibility this is your golden ticket now you might be wondering how does this compare to other certifications such as iap cpac or ws trusted tester is for beginners because it's structured and is hands on iap cpac is a theoretical certification covering laws and principles iap was is for advanced testers focusing on vcag audits and reporting if you are just getting started go with the trusted tester but if you want deeper expertise add cpac and ws later in your career watch my videos on how to pass cpac and ws in your first attempt link is in the description below if you follow this 6 week plan meticulously you will not only pass the trusted tester certification you will also gain the skills to make the digital world more inclusive so are you ready to take this challenge comment dhs ready in the comment section if this video helped you like subscribe and share this video with your friends who also want to become a trusted tester and make the digital world more inclusive see you in the next video this is param singh signing off uh -huh.